Hi, Broke Game here. Second part of my installing Chirp on Ubuntu video. Uh, I wanted to do a deep dive on the script just because uh, I'm a software developer by trade, so this stuff was always interesting to me. Uh, so let's just let's step on through it real quick. Uh, so we've got our uh, first command is just to remove this Braille library. Uh, like I said, there's ways around in my other video. There's ways around it, uh, but everything I saw it seemed like a temporary fix, and um, it was a lot easier just to do this and get rid of it. Like, sorry if you use a Braille, if you use the Braille library, but I have no experience with it. Uh, next is we have the uh, all the different dependencies we need. Pretty straightforward. Uh, if you don't know. Let me, uh, don't know, you can add a attack uh, Y on the end of a uh, apt command. And anytime it would ask you like, are you sure? It'll just automatically say yes. So that's a nice little way for the, uh, the script to it's not constantly pestering the user. And then uh, let's flip on back In here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that we give the user these groups. These are the groups that I found just in my research that um, if you're trying to use the, uh, the the TTY devices. These are the ones to use. Uh, dial out isn't actually listed as an existing group in here, but I was noticing weird things that went away when I added the group. So I added it in there just in case. Uh, then I'm down here. We uh, uh, alias GCC to version 12 because that is what uh, the the drivers for the uh, USB cable used to compile. You notice there's even a warning when you run it. Uh, if you go back and look at the script, it'll it'll uh, it'll say like, "Hey, you know, this isn't the proper version," but it's just a warning. It installs fine. Then we do some housekeeping stuff. Make directory go into it uh w get our ch341 drivers from uh this person uh which i found this directly from the spark fun website this is their uh linux patch version of the drivers uh we use our first library from uh our uh list of dependencies up here so we've got uh we unzip that go into the the master sudo make sudo load uh, so basically compile the code with the driver all right so then we back out of the the driver folder and then we're just in that chirp setup folder we have uh environment variables i'm setting here it's for trip url and we're using curl to get uh so when you go to chirp this was actually the kind of the hardest thing i had to deal with here um like in, I, I usually use program in C sharp and it would be an issue in C sharp, but trying to do this in uh in bash was different. So if you get a chirp, just Google chirp. It's uh day and planet. If you get a chirp and you say, uh, download chirp for your platform. And click past the ads. Chirp next. Hit your latest chirp build here. And if you just click on this, it's going to take you to this, which is the current build. But I don't know the current build. So if you go back here and you look at this link, it's actually this link that I put in here. Copy this. Copy link. Paste it. See here, it's you know archive trip my radio .com, download uh, question mark stream equals next. So that's actually this actually returns you to this URL. So um, that's fine and all that I can use this to use use this URL to get to here. But then also the file names are different based on the uh, version of. Uh, of chirp so uh what i'm doing and there's probably a way easier better way to do this but what i just 
ham-fisted together was, hey, get get the last result of this URL. So basically wherever it resolves to. So then I take that and I say, okay, give me here. Let's let's we'll step through this one together because this is kind of fun. So this here says get the last nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that takes that and puts it in there. Then there's this one here that says remove the trailing uh, slash. This says take the first letter to the eighth letter. So it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our result is the version number. So let's back out of that. So now we have the chirp version number. So now we can come back into here. We can just say W get, uh, say my radio next and then insert the chirp version number into the URL. And once it downloads, we can say pip install, which is Python, uh, Python install, uh, pass it into whatever our downloaded file was. And this is probably be better served with maybe doing a, uh, a star.whl. Um, but well, I, I just kind of stuck with that. I think just, I don't know why that's because I ham fisted it together. Uh, so then once that's installed, chirp is installed, it's done. So all I do then is I just echo some of this stuff out into those files for the desktop. So, uh, you know, just all the commands we need to so sudo make load the, uh, do, 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 do the master here and the make unload and the sudo make load, da, 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 da. make that script executable. And then I just echo out, Hey, reboot your machine. And I say, run start chirp and I, just, I should probably update that to be a little more you know um verbose but that's it's close enough so uh that's it that's my ham-fisted linux script i'm sure there's a better way to do it but damn it it works for me sometimes that's it 33